Good morning, and welcome to the Motivational Devotional, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. Take what you can from this morning's podcast and transform your day by being spiritually and positively motivated. Getting a new car and enjoying that new car smell. Starting that new job that you can't believe you landed. Going on a trip to a faraway place you always wanted to visit. Holding a newborn baby. All of these are major, huge, life-changing moments that bring people overwhelming joy, aren't they? You can probably add quite a few things to that list of huge events that have happened to make your heart swell and tears come to your eyes. As great as those events are, they don't happen every day, though, do they? I've noticed over the years this funny little human tick about the things that happen to us. Big, huge, life-changing negative things devastate people, and in the midst of their grief, they reach out and find support from other people, but it seems that those things don't make people nearly as angry and get them going as much as little things do. Think about it the last time you lost someone important. It was huge, and I know. It's only been about six months for me. I'm not talking about the kind of loss that comes from a senseless tragedy where people have every right to be angry and get quite public about it. I mean the kind of loss that happens as a natural course of life, and compare that to how you felt the last time somebody cut you off in traffic. I really can't come up with more examples because I don't hang on to those kinds of things and I don't usually get upset for more than a few seconds if one does happen. Sorry, I'll have to let you pull to mind the last time a minor thing really ground your gears, to quote Peter Griffin. <laughs> that funny little tick about us humans is that we will put all kinds of energy into being wound up about a minor infraction and share it with anyone who will listen and get a lot of drama mileage out of it and let it suck our joy away all day long. Yet, we will have a minor thing happen, like having an adorable dog lick your chin, or a kitten purr on your chest, or a rainbow blast into the sky on your way to work, and while a person experiences one of those, they're grinding on about that minor infraction, and totally missing the complete satisfaction of that positive little thing. You're not going to buy a new car every day, and you're not going to go on a major vacation every week unless you win the lottery, and in which case I'll ask if you'll take me with you. Just kidding. But what you will have happen every single day is a little thing that you are very likely to miss unless you are looking for it. I am suggesting that you keep your radar activated and make every effort to pay attention to what is happening each moment for what blessings that moment is bringing you. I have a thousand different conversations every day, and more than enough of them are conversations I was not looking forward to having because of complaints, complicated issues, and more things to add to my to-do list. I engage anyway, and I focus on that present moment with the awareness that that person's time wasn't stretched before talking to me, but they need me for some reason, and I don't need to add my stuff to their stuff. I listen. And there is almost always some blessing for me in the conversation as well as the opportunity to help another person in some way. I figured out a challenging issue with my audio equipment and I'm using what I figured out for the first time in this podcast and it really got me excited. Little things. My dogs are actually aware of the time of day and around the time I get home, they lay down by the front door to wait and I get greeted with spins, tail wags, and puppy kisses. Little things. When I'm done mowing the grass, I pause to smell the scent of fresh cut grass mixed with flowers and grilled steak because of the restaurant down the hill, and it gives me a lot of peace and joy. Little things. Someone notices something I did, and they tell me I did a good job, or they liked it, or they thank me, and I thought no one had noticed little things. Try paying attention to your little things all day today, and those negative little things that tempt you to blow them out of proportion? Forget about it. Let it go. Those won't feed your soul the way those positive little things will, because those are where all of creation is conspiring in your favor. Those are what show you that the universe always has your back. 
Matthew McConaughey, in his book Green Lights, wrote, We all have scars. We're going to have more. Rather than struggle against time and waste it, let's dance with time and redeem it. Because we don't live longer when we try not to die. We live longer when we are too busy living. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page, following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter, and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support, and thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Radio, LLC.